So if we could just begin by you guys telling me what drew you to the project and um, how you got involved in the process. Hmm. What drew us, I'm doing the right thing, yeah. <laughs> what, what drew us to your, um, to this film, uh -huh. uh, and I know what uh, uh, yeah. drew me to it. What was that? The text. Always. Always the text. And I read it and thought, this is really interesting, and this writer, David Weil, is really gifted. And I thought, wow, I mean, who expects it? But my, my, somebody had told me, this is good. And I thought, oh, they, they don't usually say that. So I, I read it, and I, it was. And so I met then with David Weil, and I met the producers and the director. And we talked ad nauseum about it, and then finally got to the point where uh, they were thinking, I don't know, I think we got the wrong guy here because I was talking so much. But it turns out they enjoyed that talk and we talked about it in, and I thought this is something to do. So that's how I knew. Yeah. What drew you to it? What were your first conversations with David? What drew me to the project? Uh, well, it all, starts, um, it all starts with an email, really. It was like a little cover letter for me. And I saw the people involved, and it seemed like an interesting group of people. I was a big fan of Alfonso. Gomez Rejon. I loved, uh, I loved his film, uh, Meet Earl and the Dying Girl. I thought that was a great movie, and I really wanted to work with him, and seeing Jordan Peele was involved. It was an interesting group of people. And then I read the script and saw that there was a, uh, a good script and a good character. Um, and, and, you know, Al and I talk about this uh, sometimes. We've talked about it in interviews about, and it's, we have a similar, um, Thing where we read a script, we'll read a, you know, we'll look at a character, but you, you, there's a self-assessment as to whether or not you're right for the role. And I read this and thought, I can do this. I think I can do this. I might be a little old for the part, but I could do it. I had to figure it out. And um, old? I'm, I'm 28. <laughs> the character's 19. Oh my God, you're 28? Yeah. Exactly. You look new right ancient. now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's a little bit younger, but I got to figure this out. Oh, that is ancient. And uh, I know. I, I need to. I need to get out of this. I need to figure out another thing. Uh, but but that's really what drew me to the part was was the script more than anything. And can you tell me a bit about your character? Um, kind of how it fits into the series. About my character. Can you tell her about your yeah. character and how it fits it's, into the series? How, how does it fit? Well, he happens to be the lead. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it fits. He's, he's, he's what it's about. I mean, he takes it, uh, no, it's about a lot of things, yeah. but he's, uh, he's the focus, yeah. he's, uh, and he's yeah. great. Thank you very much. So. Yeah, I've, I played Jonah uh, Heidelbaum in this series. Um, starts off uh, with my character, and he experiences a great tragedy. His grandmother is is murdered in front of him and he's trying to find out why anybody would do this and it takes him on a journey of, uh, of, of discovering that she, my character's grandmother, uh, was a part of a group uh, that, were, that were locating and identifying Nazis that are living in the U.S. and bringing them to justice so he's thrust in this crazy world of, of tracking down Nazis in, the, in modern America at the time, which was 1977. And he resists place. it. Mm -hmm. And that's part of it. But this thing keeps going and changing. You'll see as you watch it, it goes in the, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes it's tongue in cheek, sometimes it's horror, sometimes mm -hmm. it's just vaudeville, and sometimes it's uh, very dramatic. So it's in comic, too. It's mm -hmm. a lot of it's funny, mm -hmm. crazy. Can you tell me about your character? I just did. No. Yeah. Can I tell you about my character? Let's see. My character is sort of the head of the hunters, uh, and he joined it with his grandmother and uh, with uh, Jonah's grandmother. And together they form this group. And uh, when she dies, he goes on as the leader of it. And he's a very uh, sometimes retiring kind of gentleman who's been around. He's very wealthy, he lives in a castle practically, and he, uh, he is in control of all this. He's sort of the mastermind. 
comes up with ideas and and then has to track. And we, we find out how he discovers the hunt, how he goes after the people who are going to join him. They, they call it the, uh, it's a Motley Crew or, or what's the name yeah. of that film? The uh, Dirty yeah, Dozen. Yeah. The Dirty Dozen. And he goes to, a, he actually goes to someone who, uh, an old, older Jewish lady who he says, what should I do? Where should I go? How do I find? And she says, well, you're going to need these kind of people. So it's really, hmm. you, they really th go through a lot of thinking and trying to find the right people. And it's interesting who he comes up with. Well, that was a perfect way to end. Thank you, ah, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Yeah.